David Hood from IT Training just showing merging two Excel files using R to combine the information. I have an Excel file of imaginary student information featuring a student ID. I have another Excel file of which papers are being taken by which students also featuring student ID. One of these Excel files is an XLX file, one of them is an XLS file, an old style Excel file. I'm going to combine them together using R. I'm going to use the helper libraries deployer and read Excel for reading in the Excel file and for manipulating the data inside it. So after I load those libraries, I am reading in the file with the student information. Because of the extra stuff at the top, I am skipping the first two lines. Then I'm doing the same thing for the papers and students information, reading that down to the level that it's a nice solid block. There's a couple of things it's a good idea to check with data files before you merge them. For instance, checking the names of the, the columns in the file, the variables, and checking both the name of the students and the papers taken information. The students information is not very R safe file names, the spaces and things like that. So I'm going to take the existing names of the student information, make them R safe and replace the old student um, variable names. I run that line and now I have our safe names in the file. Something else you want to check when you are combining data together is do the number of entries, multiple entries make sense. If I check the papers taken, there are several students taking each paper. If I check the student information, there is only one occurrence of each student ID, which is what I want in a general database joining many to one relationship. The fact that I got zero results for anyone where there were names, um, ID numbers greater than one, shows that that's got unique names in it. It's also a good idea to check if there are any that won't be joined when I combine the information. So if I check the papers and ask, check which of the papers students IDs are in the student student IDs, and then using the not symbol I say, I don't want those ones. If I run that line, I find nothing. So all of the paper information students are in the student information. If I check the student information and check if the student IDs are in the paper information and run that, I find that there is one student that is not in the paper information. Whether that kind of thing is a problem or not depends on the data you're working with. In this case, I might decide it's not a problem, so I'm going to combine together the data. To do that, I use a merge function I take one data set, the other data set. Uh, for the first data set, I say what column I am joining the information together by. And for the second data set, I say what column I am joining the information together by. There are additional settings I could put in for controlling if it should add entries which are not in the matching data set. But if I run that line, I get a new combined data set of all of the information. If I want to, I could write it out as a CSV file, and I'm going to exclude R's own added row names for that. So if I run that line and look back in my folder, I've got a new file called combined CSV, which if I open it up, has all of the joined together information. 